last. And you of all my kin would be the one to do this to me. Your pay for them. Yes. Now that was cool. Haratha shuddered just now. You can't do this to me, Mother. You said Father is no fool, and neither are you. There has to be a way to fix this. Not just with you and Father, but with everyone. There has to be a way. You have your father's stubbornness. Listen to me. You're endangering everything you care about by coming here. Don't you understand? Besides... What? Besides what? Tell me, please. The truth is that I like it here, Zagreus. I have done well for myself on my own. And your father, he has his domain to look after. The feelings he once had for me, feelings we shared, they fade with time. You'll understand someday. No, I won't be understanding anything of the sort. Father still loves you, I'm sure of it. And he owes you an apology, damn it. I cannot make amends with you on his behalf. It's something only you can do together. What do you mean he still loves me, Zagreus? How would you know? Because uh, I'm his blasted son, that's how I know. But trust me, isn't ever good enough, I know that too. I'll prove it to you, Mother. Just you wait and see. Oh, you're fading, son. You don't need to prove anything to me. Please don't do anything rash. All of us made our choices. Now we have to live with them. Isn't it enough to know that I'm safe? That I'm content to be alone? No. Uh, it's not... it's not enough for me, because this blasted family... it cannot just keep hiding from its problems, running from them. We're stuck with one another. We... we have to do everything we can for one another. I... oh, my dear boy. We... have to. No, not... yet. God damn it all again. Cerberus is comfortably at rest, observing all. You are the best, you know that, don't you, boy? Achilles, I need your help. What is it, lad? What's wrong? What can I do? Let me in Father's chambers, please. That's high atop the list of things I'm not to do for anyone, and under any circumstances. What is it you need? I've never even been in there myself. I don't know. I don't know. But if I know Father, and I think I do, he's got to have something of hers in there. Of Mother's. She still doesn't get it, doesn't believe me about him, and I said I'd prove it, that he cares for her. All right, slow down. I understand. Look. This can get me in a lot of trouble like you've no idea. And not just me, so be careful and be quick while he's still out. Take this and go. Don't leave anything there out of place, all right? Thank you. No, can't go this way just yet. Do you remember anything else about my mother, Fen? Just anything. You weren't close, I guess. We weren't. She kept to herself, as I recall, and I would do the same. Unlike my present company, I do not ask too many questions. It was quite clear to me she wasn't from this place. Father isn't from this place either. How was she any different? Sometimes I have to be reminded that Lord Hades wasn't born here, like the rest of us. But Persephone, she... she had a radiance about her, I suppose. It reminded me of the outside, but... I don't mean that in a negative respect. Radiance, huh? Doesn't sound like father at all. You shouldn't be doing this, Sag. You picked sides and things are not the same. A momentary stab at thoughtfulness can't fix something like that. 
We've been through a lot then, and I think we'll be going through a lot more yet. Consider it a token of our kinship. I would have you know, I'm now proud owner of my very own Chthonic Companion. You really built them to last. Just not very many of them, apparently. I'd all but given up on ever finding one. I sensed this outcome, and it pleases me. Though you never would have simply discovered such a thing. They each are unique artifacts that must be given willingly if they are to retain their shape and power. I have to say, and I do mean this as a compliment, it's hard for me to imagine Knight Incarnate herself fashioning these little keepsakes to be given between friends. Do not mistake them for their unassuming look. Within them is the strength of an unbreaking bond between two souls conjoined. And I just adore them. Here, you can have these, Chef. Till next time. Sorted the cutlery, wiped the counters, replaced the candles, did the dishes, swept the floor, inspected the barrels. Let's see what else. Oh, the prince, it's you. It's me. Dusa, I'm impressed you're able to manage this whole lounge all by yourself. How do you do it? What's your secret? <laughs> secret? I'm two weeks behind schedule with this place, at least. Unfortunately, no one here seems very good at keeping time, so no one's gotten on my case just yet, but... Oh, you are gonna tell, are you? Of course not. What's behind schedule, though? This place doesn't seem any worse for wear than usual. Well, that's just it. Miss Nix, she tasked me with a pretty big project a while back to make this place worthy of the name, which means there's so much left to do. I need to get everything ready. Please excuse me, Prince. Isn't there something I can do to help? of the house possesses wealth beyond imagining, a portion of which he has used for a crisp set of attire for every passing day. I knew it. It's just capes. In his Lord Father's very private chambers, Zagreus, the lock-removing prince, discovers a most delicately painted likeness of none other than Persephone herself. A coat of dust suggested has remained here for some time. He's never stopped thinking of her. Ugh, what a fool. I did, thank you. Just checking up on things. Some mortals don't believe in ghosts, but I believe in you. Surprise. Again. What is it? What's the matter? Wait, why are you looking at me like that? Zagreus, would you shut up with your idiotic questions and get over here right now? I... you really... oh. I thought you'd never ask, but I'm glad you did. Oh, 
Um, Meg, I... What I'm trying to say is, are you... Are we good? Or... Stop being insecure around me, Zack. You should know better than that by now. Though yes, if you must know, I think we're good. But if you tell another living soul, or even a dead one, I will kill you. Understand? I... Loud and clear, Meg, yes, I understand. So then, what happens now? What happens now? I'll see you at the edge of Tartarus, I guess. Or maybe here, however long we keep this up. However long we keep this up? You ask too many questions, Zag. I don't have the answers, and besides, you know more about living in the moment than I do. See you around. See you around? Yes. Ah. <sighs>